Well, here's some light news for you. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Uh, let's get right into the news. All right, so uh, we got Elliot Wilson. Okay, so he responds to Charlemagne because Charlemagne's talking about um, Elliot dissing Kai. Kai, if you don't know, is a streamer. He's like 21. And, you know, he's having rap artists come on his stream now. They want to get on there because he has a huge platform. Artists will go wherever the biggest platform is, okay? Elliot Wilson should know this, okay? But he feels like they're skipping, like Nikki and people like that are skipping his platform. And his platform is really just for, like, in-depth interviews. It's not for fun, okay? They're going on Kai's stream to have fun, connect with a younger audience that probably won't watch Elliot Wilson or even myself, Okay. Because they're looking to tap that that's where they're gonna go to tap in to, you know, like ten to to twenty-eight year olds. I don't even watch Kai like a lot. I watch clips of Kai, you know, because you know, he's more he's more geared towards the younger audience. He's funny though, like and he is entertaining for for that demographic. So Elliot Wilson responds to Charlemagne's criticism and says, Didn't Charlemagne go from telling me I shouldn't have apologized to Kai? To I should apologize to Kai because I was hating. No, I, I don't think that was this. And then he said, I really hate that effing, effing song. Okay, cool. <laughs> Elliot, you got to chill, bro. Like, you've been doing this for a long time. You're solid in the game. You got to chill out, bro. You know? Um, so, little baby knows better. He doesn't want his car to blow up. Okay? Because Diddy, if you mess with Diddy's girls, Kid Cudi said it best. My car blew up in the driveway. He said my car was going to blow up because I was messing with Cassie or like we were talking and going on dates. Diddy got jealous, blew his car up in the driveway. He said my car blew up in the driveway. Little baby's like, I don't need them kind of problems. That's some those rich billionaire type of problems. I don't need those. He's happy enough getting sandwiched by billionaires at, you know, Rick Rubin's parties, you know, so... Uh, young Miami throws him, you know, a little alley-oop, like, yo, what's up? Shoots her shot. He walks past, okay? He's not He's not with all that. He knows. He knows better. Than he doesn't want exactly just what I said. He doesn't want his cars blowing up. Um, this guy, Florida Joker, he gives Rockstar Games, like, an ultimatum. Ultimatum, like, you know, give me a million bucks, you know, and... Uh, or five million bucks and I'll go away. Because he feels like his character is being used in the game. Has this guy ever watched Batman? Uh, there is a Joker. You're not the Joan Lee Joker. Uh, you, you modeled your Joker after Batman and other, you know, manipulations and extrapolations of the Joker. Okay? Stop. I mean, this is pathetic, bro. Stop. Broncos are benching Russell Wilson for the rest of the season because he won't make a change to his $250 million contract. The Broncos are 6-3 in the last nine games. So I guess they're not happy. And uh, they want to, you know, modify that contract a little bit. He's like, nah. <laughs> you, you sign this. The, the thing in NFL is I don't think your money is guaranteed. Okay, so if I were him, I would uh, make some adjustments because I don't think this is a good idea. They're going to play with your money. So essentially, Blueface won because in that lawsuit, Soldier Boy's uh, baby mom gave to Blueface because he's talking about smashing her. She's like, we didn't smash at that particular time you're talking about, the day before the baby shower, but we did smash. She she acknowledged they smashed before. That's all Blueface needed. Social Boy, you look like a fool in court now. Not only on social media, now on court. You shouldn't have started with this because, you know, this is why you shouldn't mess with industry girls that have messed with other guys in the industry because, like, if it gets too serious... Now, you got that little, you know, thing that they can always go at. Remember when Rick Ross, so we are almost married that girl that was, uh, da you know, 
QCP's girl at one point, Meek Mill's girl at one point, and then Rick Ross was trying to wife her at one point. He was going through something, obviously, because that was a horrible decision. Um, anyways, that's that's it, man. I appreciate you guys. Uh, just want to give a quick quick shout out to Larry, man. We're gonna be doing promo soon, and uh, I'll check you guys in the next one. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.